Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Unlock your learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 14 Factorization Exercise 14G Questions 21 to 25. Let's have a look. What does question 21 say? We have to factorize the expression 3x to power 5 minus 18x to power 4 minus 48x cube. Very clearly, it is not in the form we want. We want our expression to be in the form of x square plus bx plus c. But you can see, it is not x square, it is x to power 5. It is not x, it is x to power 4. It is not c, it is x cube. So we have to bring it down to the original form. This standard form, right? How we will do that? We have to take common, okay? We have to take common factors from all the three terms. Then we will come to our standard form form that we want okay how is that let's see first we will look at the variables x to power 5 x to power 4 and x cube that is x to power 3 so i told you before also always choose the variable with the smaller power as your common factor okay so 5 4 3 which is the smallest 3 so you will take x cube as common and in the numbers you have to th see yourselves 3 18 and 48 what can we take common we can take 3 common from here from here we can take 3 common see 3 and 3 will cancel x to power 5 and x cube so you will have x square here okay because 5 minus 3 is 2 so x square and minus 18 upon 3 that means basically what will happen when you divide minus 18 by 3 minus will come and then 18 by 3 that is 6 and now x to power 4 and x cube so x 4 minus 3 okay when you are dividing powers have to be subtracted so 4 minus 3 is what 1 simply you can write in place of 1 x minus 6 x from here see a x cube x cube will cancel each other minus 48 goes how many times by 3 first of all you put minus sign now 48 how many times is it divisible by 3 so 1 and there so 1 uh, because we will take 3 so 1 here and 1 carried over 18 so 6 times right 16 okay this is how it is so 3x cube we have taken common we have x square minus 6x minus 16 it is in the standard form x square x square bx bx and c right now we can start the factorization process see here condition what is your condition you have to break this in such a way that first of all the sum okay so the sum of this has to be minus 6 the product of the two has to be minus 16 okay this you have to break it two conditions let's see 16 that has the sum as 6 factors of 16 which have sum of 6 and the product of 16 only right so we can take uh, 8 and 2 no not possible right can we take 4 and uh, 4 that will not give us 6 yes we have to take 8 and 2 only for this see how see here we will take 8x, we will take 2x, we will take minus 16, 8 into 2, 16. But we want minus 16. Now the question arises that can we make both minus? Then also we will get what? When multiply both minus, we will not get minus. We will get plus. So that option is cancelled. Now that means what? 1 is plus, 1 is minus. That is confirmed. So what can we say? Let's see. Can I make minus this 8x as minus? and 2x as plus yes i can minus 8 plus 2 is going to be minus 6 minus 8 into plus 2 is going to be minus 16 so it is fulfilled okay you have to do the signs on your own and the it will come according to the number of questions you have solved after some time and some experience is required right some practice is required it will happen automatically now see 3x cube now we can start the factorization first of all we will group it this way x square minus 8x and the other group will have 2x minus 16 right now you can close that now see here 3x cube in one group from here we are taking x as common we are left with x minus 8 right and here we are taking two common so we are left with x minus 8 here also that's it so you can solve it 3x cube and x minus 8 common into x plus 2 right that is what now see here the 22nd question right question number 22 it is minus 2x cube plus 22x square plus 24x clear now again you can see what we need to do we need to get 
this question into this standard form okay how let's see only option is to take the common factors what can we take common in the variables x cube x square x to power 1 always choose the variable with the lowest power that means you will take x common okay and from the numbers you have minus 2 plus 22 plus 24 now see here the first term of this standard form is what positive the first term of our question is what negative so i have to make it what positive that means what i have to take this minus sign outside clear that is clear so if i'm taking the minus side outside the first term that will come here that will become what positive that's why i will get x square here right now in the number c 2 uh, 2 20 to 24 so again they we can take only two common so minus 2 we are taking common along with x so you will have what here you will have x square c minus 2 by minus 2 cancels right plus 1 that's why i have taken minus outside the bracket x cube and x so 3 minus 1 that is what 2 x square and here 22 upon minus 2 so first of all you put minus sign 22 upon 2 is 11 x square upon x that means x clear now see 24 and minus 2 so again put the minus sign 24 goes 12 times by 2 and x and x will cancel so that's it now you can begin factorizing this okay now what do what are the two things that we want we want the sum as what minus 11 because you have to split the middle term so sum has to be minus 11 and the product has to be equal to this value of c which is minus 12 clear now see these two conditions we have okay let's see can i take the factors of 12 that have the sum as 11 as uh, 12 and 1 yes okay that is the only possible way of doing this see minus 2x you can take here x square you can take here we are taking one factor as 12 one factor as 1 so you can write simply x it is okay it is understood it is having 1 with it now see of all your conf uh, convenience I am writing 1 also here okay and rest of this question we will write as it is now see carefully I want minus 11 I have 12 and plus 1 so I want minus 11 and I want product as negative so can I make both of them minus no because minus into minus is going to be plus so this is eliminated now it is very clear that one factor is positive one factor is negative if the sum is minus that means what that the sign has come of the greater number that means what my greater number will have which sign minus sign so that means you will put minus with 12 okay is that clear if the product is minus then either of them has to be plus or minus right we cannot make both of them with this uh, this uh, minus minus right or plus plus so we have given minus sign to 12 and plus to 1 now minus 12 into plus 1 so that is going to be minus 12 only minus 12 plus 1 that is minus 11 so this is solved now we can begin the factorization so we can take minus 2x here that is as it is leave this okay x square minus 12 x in one group we can take and what here x minus 12 we can take in one group now we are getting rid of this one it doesn't matter right we don't need to write it every time this is just for your convenience we generally don't write it now you can take the commons also from here x can be taken common you will take common you will have x minus 12 here x minus 12 is already here so when nothing is common you take plus one common so you are left with x minus 12 here close the brackets now you can see here minus 2x into x minus 12 12 into x plus 1 right and that is it this is your final answer now let's move on to the next question see here the 23rd question or question number 23 this is b square c cube plus 8 b c to power 4 plus 12 c to power 5 again this is not in the standard form because we want the degree as 2 and you can see 5 is already there so we have to take common factors what can we take common let's see so in numbers you can see 8 and 12 so we can't take anything common from the numbers Let, let's look at the variables b square b and it doesn't have b so b also we cannot take common only c we can take common c cube c to power 4 and c to power 5 so you will take here c cube okay now c you will take c cube common you will have b square plus 8 b c to power 4 and c to power 3 4 minus 3 that is c 8 b c and 
plus c to power 5 and c cube so c to power 5 minus 3 so 12 c square okay don't go at this c square right it is still a quadratic uh, expression only because the degree is 2 only right so we can factorize it using the same rule even if the form isn't still matching as you can see here but don't worry about that see now you have to use the same rule your middle term is 8 and as i said that you have to split it in such a way that the sum has to be 8bc and the product has to be the value of c that here is what 12 the numbers i'm talking about not the variable so what we get here c the sum has to be plus 8 and product has to be also plus 12 right this way you have to split it let's look at a few factors of 12 so 6 and 2 that will fit it 6 into 2 is 12 6 plus 2 is also 8 that means what we will have b square plus 6bc plus 2bc plus 12c square right now we can solve this further we can make the groups here see c cube one group will have b square plus 6bc another group will have 2bc plus 12c square right let's begin c cube here b square and b so what can we take common from here we can take b outside the bracket you will have b plus 6c and here from here what can you take common see 2 and 12 so you can take 2 common b b you cannot take common because it's not there in the second term c and c square are there so you can take c common from here 2c you will have what b plus what 6c okay close it so you can group this further c cube now b plus 6c is coming in both so you can take this out common and b plus 2c also is going to be left out after taking common so you write that down as also this is your answer c cube into b plus c into b plus 2c now let us move on to the next question now see here in the next question right this is the 24th question what have you got here let us see here you have x to power 4 minus 11 x square minus 8080 now again this is not in this form so we have to break it down how we will break it down that is a question see can you take common we want see it is not a quadratic expression we want highest degree to be 2 only then only we can factorize previous question even though two variables were there with square but it was having highest degree uh, sorry the degree as 2 only right and here also the degree has to be 2 then only we can just uh, factorize this but what is the degree 4 but we have to bring it down to 2 now we cannot also take anything common because x to power 4 x square then nothing is there so we cannot move with the first step that is common so for solving these type of questions there is a different way we use assumption okay see we will say let you can choose any variable of your choice i will take a let a be equal to x square right this thing we are doing so let a be equal to x square let a be x square simply now because x square we want to replace okay and x to power 4 is what we want to change okay x to power 4 we want to bring it somewhere in the power of 2 see now so now you have to think carefully if a is x square then if i do a square okay if i am doing square on a then will i not have square on x square also yes when you are squaring one side the other side will also be squared this is the rule so a is x square and when i am doing square on x that means the square will also come on x square both the sides will be squared what you will have a square is equal to x you have studied exponents you have you know the law a to power m whole to power m that is a to power m into n that means you multiply the powers or not yes so you will have 2 into 2 that is 4 a square is equal to x to power 4 see here the first term is x to power 4 which can be replaced with what a square can we not write it like this can we not yes we can see a square has come for x to power 4 now see carefully minus 
11 x square we have already assumed a is x square right let a be x square so you can write here in place of x square a or not yes you can and rest of this question that is minus 80 can be written as it is right now can you identify this what is the degree here what is the degree so degree is 2 right because a square has the highest exponent so this is the degree degree of the expression is 2 means it is a quadratic expression that means we can factorize this let's begin the factorization process so a square now see carefully we have to think of factors of minus 80 that will give us the sum as minus 11 and the product of the two numbers as minus 80 these two conditions we have to fulfill let's see so 10 and 8 not possible right uh, let's see 2 and 40 again that's not possible right so what can we choose in place of 80 let's see let's prime factorize if you are not able to think directly you can use the prime factorization method right so you have to bring it in break it in such a way such that sum is minus 11 product is minus 80 so if you can think of this right if you cannot think you can go for prime factorization right the answer has to be 16 and 5 right we can see here what we will get here see i'll show you right one so as i said 16 and 5 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 and what is here 5 5 so 16 and 5 we can take 16 and minus 5 will give you 11 so somewhere it is fitting here right what we just need to see carefully is that this answer is correct let's first of all it is the prime factorization now we know what two factors we have to choose so you can write here a square 16 a here and 5 a here and minus 80 over here now a lot the signs sum has to be negative right so we can, and the product also has to be negative so it is very clear that one term is plus one term is minus now a, the sign of the greater term will be the sign of the sum sum is negative so greater term which is 16a this will also be negative and plus 5a right this is what we have done we have split it into minus 16 and plus 5 right this splitting is up to you you can do it if you have enough practice right now you can group it see minus 16 plus 5 is minus 11 minus 16 into plus 5 is minus 80 so it is correct now we can group it in one group like this sorry like this okay and in another group 5a minus 80 like this okay so you can take a outside the bracket you will have a minus 16 inside here you can take 5 outside the bracket you will have a minus 16 on the inside clear now you can bring it here see you have what a minus 16 is what common so you take a minus 16 as common what is left a is left here yes so in the second bracket first term will be a what is left here 5 so we in the second bracket you will write plus 5 now you will think that your question is finished and factorization is over right this part is completely different now it is not over over right here right a minus 16 and a plus 5 is not the final line answer why because the question was in terms of x and we have written it in a so it will be marked wrong why because we have to write it also in terms of x only our final answer has to come in terms of x let's see carefully so you have to replace a with what x what x x square because we have assumed a as x square so in place of a what will come here x square minus 16 and in place of a what will come here x square plus 5 all right done finished right you might be thinking it is finished now but it is not finished yet we also have to do one more step in this that is the last step see x square and minus 16 these can be broken down using the identity of a square minus b square that is a minus b into a plus b why am i saying this c because we have to bring the answer down into its simplest form that is in its factors that is what factorization is so x square can be written as square of x minus 16 is the square of 4 is that clear we have broken this down x square minus 16 is written as square of x minus square of 4 and this plus plus bracket this will remain as it is this is closed this we cannot factorize any further now come to this part we can use the identity now a minus b a plus b x minus 4 into x plus 4 and x square plus 5 right now you might be thinking this question is finished and yes it is finished 
So this is your final answer, right? X minus 4 into X plus 4 into X square plus 5. All right. Now let us move on to the next question. Now let us look at that question number 25. This is a to power 4 minus 7 a square plus 12. Again, this is not in this standard form and it is just like the previous question number 24. So we have to assume, we have to use the assumption way, right? What you can see, previously we had x, so we had taken a, now you have a, so you can take any other variable, but not a, okay? We have to change a, so you have to change and take any other variable. Let's see, let's say let, uh, what, let's say let, um, m right let's say let m equal to a square right up to you which variable you want to choose you can take p and anything so we have assumed m as a square so again why are we doing this we want to get rid of a to power 4 this is the problem we want x square that means what we want what highest degree uh, highest exponent as 2 right so we want square but we have to power 4 so we have to bring this down how using this m equal to a square now you have again it is just like the previous question if m is equal to a square then what happens if i square m so a square will also be squared or not yes and using the law of exponents m square will be equal to a to power you multiply them 2 into 2 a to power 4 m square is equal to a to power 4 so see here a to power 4 we have here and we have to replace this so you will use m square in place of a to power 4 so it is done now m was already there a square so we have to replace now minus 7 a square will be replaced by m so here you write down m plus 12 right so m square minus 7 m plus 12 this is in this form clear so we can factorize this further on how now it is simple factorization you have to look for factors of 12 that have the sum as minus 7 and the product as plus 12 two conditions let's see what can we take here so 6 and 2 that is not possible right 4 and 3 is the only way so we will go with 4 and 3 m square 4 m 3 m plus 12 let's give the signs sum is minus sign and product is plus so that means what minus into minus will be plus or not yes so both the terms are minus clear minus into minus minus 4 into minus 3 plus 12 minus 4 plus minus 3 that is what minus 7 right now you will have what over here let's let's begin the factorization process you can take the grouping process now m square minus 4m in one group minus 3m plus 12 in another group right that is that is it now come to this side right we have to factorize this further on also right let's see you will take the grouping now you have to take the commons right you will take here let's see from this group you can take m common you will have m minus 4 from this group you will take minus 3 common you will have m minus 4 right we are taking the commons and I hope you have enough practice to do this, right? Now you can see m minus 4, m minus 4 common in both the groups and m minus 3 will be left here, right? Very simple. Now you think your question is finished and you can give this the answer. That is the biggest mistake. You have to bring this to the form of A. Okay, the variable has to be A, not M. How you will solve this? Let's see. M was representing what? A square? So, in place of m, I will have a square minus 4 and a square minus 3, right? Finished. Now, this is your final answer. No, not right now. Why further we can factorize this? See here, using the identity of a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. So, this bracket we cannot a square minus 3 we cannot factorize why because a might be a perfect square but 3 is not a perfect square but this bracket a square minus 4 a square is also perfect square and uh, this 4 is also perfect square a is the square of a 4 is the square of 2 right and we have a square minus 3 on the other side so now you can use the identity you will have a minus 2 into a plus 2 
into a square minus 3 which is the final answer of this question you cannot factorize any further a, a minus 2 into a plus 2 into a square minus 3 and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye